Today on Rift Beards and Gear, we check out the MKE 200 on camera microphone from Sennheiser. Sennheiser have long been leaders in the microphone game, and their shotgun mics are a standard in the movie and television industry. And they do have microphones that can be mounted to things like cameras for YouTubing. They have recently come out with the MKE 200 on camera microphone. And this is not technically a shotgun microphone. However, it still sounds good and it can be mounted directly to your camera. And that's actually what it's meant for. Now the MKE 200 has a super cardioid pickup pattern, which is good for rejecting ambient noise and also picking up what's directly in front of it. Now, like I said before, this is not technically a shotgun microphone like its competitor, the Rode NTG, which does have a barrel that sound then goes into it and it's uh, very rejection heavy and very, very directional. The MKE 200 is different. It is a microphone that is internally shock mounted as opposed to externally shock mounted so that you get a nice clean look and function with the cable that goes right out in front, right to your camera. Simple and effective. Now I've actually been using a second MKE 200 for this video and for the last few videos in fact that I have filmed. Uh, I have the MKE 200 going directly into my Canon EOS R and what you were hearing is just the audio. I have turned it up in post. Usually I will uh, level it off in post, but otherwise you are hearing the microphone as it sits. And now we are going to try to put the dead cat, which is a wind filter on this microphone. Now I will note that I am in a controlled studio environment. So this, shouldn't do anything for the sound. However, if you are in a windy situation or outside, it will definitely cut down, if not totally eliminate, all of the woofs and the uh, the top and staticky sounds that you get when wind hits the microphone. All right, so this is the MKE 200 audio with the Dead Cat wind protection filter on it. Again, it's not windy here in the studio. However, this is a good demonstration that it doesn't actually affect the sound of the microphone. It doesn't uh, cut off the top end or anything like that, which is not something I can say for the road. Now finally, the MKE 200 retails for about $100. Its closest competitor that a lot of us YouTubers uh, use is the Rode Video Micro. Uh, this is about $80, maybe less depending on where you look. Uh, I would definitely say the MKE 200 is less quacky in sound, if that makes sense. Uh, the mid-range can be a little weird on the video micro and it doesn't have a ton of low end at all. The MKE is definitely more level, a little warmer, a little fuller sounding, at least with my voice. Your mileage may vary depending on the timber of your voice. That's just something I thought I would note. All the pickable links down below in the description. You've been wonderful, I've been fluff. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed the video that you just watched, please consider subscribing. It helps me help you, and then in turn, you get more stuff to watch. And also, I have all sorts of stuff down in the description of this video. Sweetwater giveaway stuff. There's all sorts of links to all sorts of things. So consider uh, checking that out as well, if you're gonna hang. But if you don't hang, all good. I still love you.